In this Paystack WordPress integration tutorial, I'll show you how to integrate Paystack Payment Gateway into your WordPress website so that you can directly receive payments for either your products, your service, donations, or just whatever you want to use it for. Obviously, you must already have your WordPress website working. And if you don't, you can check out my recommended cheap but quality web hosting services in the video description and then get your website ready. Also, if you don't already have your Paystack account because obviously you will need one, then see the video currently displayed on your screen. I show you the easy step-by-step -step process to opening and signing up for your free Paystack account. I will also leave the link to this video in the video description. So having said all that, let's get to the Spacetap WordPress integration video tutorial. Alright, so the very first thing you want to do is to log into your WordPress website as you have seen me done here. And then you want to go to the left menu option here to the plugin section. Okay, once your mouse is on your plugin, you come over to add new plugin here and click on the add new. Alright, so once you're here, what you want to do is to come to the search option here and search for Paystack form for payment. Okay, so you want to come to this payment form for Paystack here and then you want to click on the install button. Okay, and then activate. Okay, so now that that has been done successfully, you want to come to this side here. You can see here that I already have my Paystack form already here now that it's been installed and activated. And then I want to click on the settings here. So we click on settings. All right, so here we want to do some basic configurations so that our payment form can begin to work. So the very first thing you want to do, as you can see here, we have test secret keys and test public keys. Okay, so the first thing you want to do here is that you want to make sure that this is in the live mode. So I'm going to come here and select live mode. And then once I do that, I want to go back to my Paystack dashboard and then I'm going to copy the secret keys and the public keys as we have here. And then I'm going to come in here to paste in here. So let's go back to our Paystack dashboard. Once you're in your dashboard, you also want to come to your settings here. Okay, so you want to come to API keys and webhooks. Okay, so as we have here, you can see that my live secret key and then my live public key is here. So what I want to do right now is that I want to copy out my live secret key here. So I'm just going to copy this, but for me to be able to access this, of course, I'll be asked to re-log in to this dashboard so i'm just going to come in here again and type in my password and then i continue okay so this is mine i'm just going to click on this copy to clipboard function here so i'm going to copy it so that's my live secret key as you can see so i'll head back to my wordpress dashboard and then i'll come to my live secret key here and i'm going to paste it in here okay once again i will have to also paste in my live public key so i'll go back and then I come to my live public key again. I'm going to click on this again and then I'll come back here and then I'm going to paste in here. All right. So like I said, you must make sure that you are in the live mode for you to do that. So once I do that, I think I'm OK. I'll just scroll down and then I'm going to click save changes. OK, so now that my changes has been saved successfully, so I can go ahead and create my payment form for whatever it is I want to use it for. So for me to do that, I'm going to come back to this Paystack form here and I'm going to click on add new because I want to create a new form. All right. So here I am. OK, so what is the name of my form here? I'm just going to type in whatever it is I want to use this form for. So I'm just going to call it payment for whatever. I'll just say my SEO course. I just have I just launched a new SEO course if you want to get it. Okay, so that is it. Payment for my SEO course. And then I'm going to come here and then I'm going to scroll down. Okay, so here, of course, my currency is in Nigerian Naira. Okay, so if you want yours to be in Ghana cities, you want to be in South African Rand, Kenya shillings, or the United States dollar, you can always choose yours. So mine is in Naira. So how much? Am I going to be charging for this course? It's for 9,000 Naira. Okay, now let me just quickly say it here that if you want 
this particular form to be a donation form. And then you want the donation to be that anybody can donate whatever amount they feel like donating. Then you're going to leave this at zero. Okay, so once you do that, that means that anybody that comes to this page will be able to just fix in any particular amount that they want to, you know, donate. But in this case, I am actually setting it up for a product payment. So I'm just going to leave it at 9,000 Naira. Okay, because this is a basic kind of payment. I'm going to leave every other thing the way they are. Okay, so you can just go ahead and check it up later and see if there are things there that you need to see. But honestly, if what you're creating is a payment form, then you really don't have to touch anything here. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to come to this right side here and here they're asking, is it a recurrent payment? Of course, the answer is um, none. It's not a recurrent payment. So I'm going to leave it at the default option. Okay, quality of, okay, here they're asking for quantity. Once again, it's a digital product, so I don't want it to be a quantified payment. It's just going to be a one-off payment. So I'm going to leave this option in the default mode. If you want yours to be item, you should also, you can come here and just click on this arrow here and then you can say yes. Okay, so mine is not a quantity payment, so I'm going to leave it at the default. Okay, which other thing here? Okay, there is nothing really here more for me to do. Okay, so, but then like I said, you can check it up later and see if there are other things that you need to really do here. But if you're making a normal payment, you just want to leave most of the options in the default mode as they are. So once I do that, I'm, and I'm satisfied with my information, I'm going to click on publish. Alright, so once I'm done with that, all I need to do right now is to come to this short code that has been generated for me. So I'm just going to come here and copy the short code here. So what I'm going to do right now is to go to my normal WordPress page here and then I will just click on add new. And of course what I want to do here is that I want to create a page for the payment of the SEO course that I'm selling. So I'll just say SEO course payments of course so here I'm going, I'm going to be using the default editor of course I use DV but let me not use DV because I'm sure many of you will not be using DV so let's go for the default editor so all I need to do here is just to I could just decide to add a little bit of information and say thank you for making an order please go ahead and complete your payment all right so once i'm done with that i'm just going to come here and then i'm going to click on this plus sign and search for short code okay i'm going to click on the short code here and then i'm going to paste in the short code that i just generated from my paystack payment link and once i do that i'm going to click on publish and publish again all right so this has been published successfully let's go ahead and take a look at what our payment page look like now so i'm going to click on view page all right and then you can see what my page look like now okay so you can see here seo cost payment thank you for making another please go ahead and complete your payment okay so you can see here all you need to do is to send this particular url okay to whoever wants to make this payment or you can embed it anywhere you want to embed it and then anybody that clicks on it will be able to fill in his or her details. You can see here the amount is fixed, which is 9,000 Naira. And then person can add their phone number. Okay, let me just make a test here. 0079457. Zero, zero, all right and then the person can go ahead and click on pay all right so you can see here that the person can go ahead and fill in their card numbers their card expiry date and other information if they are using a card if they want to pay through bank transfer or through normal transfer or ussd whatever it is they can always pay with us so this is how to create your payment link using paystack and i want to believe that this paystack wordpress integration process is very easy for you to complete and if you have any question for me you can always drop them in the comment section and i will be happy to provide an answer and clarifications if you enjoyed this video and you got value please give it a like and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel you want to see more marketing and make money online tips like this why not subscribe to this channel and turn on the alert bell so you get to know when i release my videos thank you and i'll see you in the next one